Color grading can be fun, but also a hassle. I'm still to this day learning so much about it and I wanna show you my step-by-step -step process on how I color grade and create my own LUTs using Premiere Pro and Photoshop. Let's get into it. Okay, so the first step is obviously open up Premiere Pro and then put your selected clips in the timeline. I already did that here. I have my girlfriend running at the beach with seagulls flying around her and then also just a shot of a cabin out in the fields. Okay, so the first step that we're gonna do is move three adjustment layers and stack it on top of this clip right here. So I'm gonna do that by going over to new item, click on that, hit adjustment layer, hit okay, click and drag that onto the timeline and then extend that out until it matches the length of your clip. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit option and then I'm just gonna click and drag and I'm gonna do that to make three adjustment layers. The reason why we need three adjustment layers is the first one's going to be your LUT, the second one is going to be the conversion to Rec. 709, and the third one, which is gonna be the bottom one, is just gonna be basic adjustments. Am I not in focus? I just realized that I haven't been in focus this entire time. I normally start with the second one, and I go over to Lumetri Color. If you guys can't find that, just go over to Windows, and then click on Lumetri Color here, and then you'll see a little check mark. Next, I go to Import LUT, and I'm gonna select on that, and click on Browse. Now I already have this folder downloaded called Rec. 709 Conversion, and you could actually get this off of Sony's website. And I believe Canon also has something. I'm gonna link both of them in the description. So just go and download your Rec. 709 Conversion. This is a very important step in this color grading process. So I highly recommend that you do this. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on Rec. 709. And I like to use this third one right here. Uh, it seems to be like, the less harsh, like this one is just way too overexposed. And then the fourth one is also like insane. Like that's just blown out. So I noticed that this third one seems to always be the one that I like. Next step is I'm gonna go to this bottom, this third one, and I'm just gonna make some basic adjustments, add some contrast, maybe bring the blacks down. I just kind of play around with it until I see something that I like. This is right here, I just did very basic adjustments. I'm liking how the image is looking. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on this top one. And then I'm gonna click on this export frame, it's a little camera icon. If you guys can't see that, just head over to this plus icon, click on it, and then you should be able to find it within here. Once you find that, just click and drag it onto the whatever thing this is, and it should show up, and then just hit okay. Okay, so once we get this camera icon on here, we're gonna go ahead and click it, and then once you hit browse, this is where this exported frame is going to go, right? So I'm just going to go and put it in, see, color grade tutorial, I'm gonna put it in my Adobe file, hit choose, and hit okay. Now when I go and look for it, I'm just gonna open up October, this and then here it is right here now once you find that frame that you exported just right click on it and hit open with and then do photoshop okay so now that we have photoshop open there are three steps that i like to take in this process the first step is you're going to head over to adjustments and then you're going to hit selected color so here you're going to go through each colors as well as whites neutrals and blacks and you're just going to adjust to your liking Okay, so as you guys can tell, I don't really have a specific formula that is going to work every single time. I just move the slider back and forth until I see a color that I really like. And that is the process with this part. Now that I have that all completed, I'm gonna go ahead and hit adjustments again. And I'm gonna hit this little icon that's hue and saturation. Now with this, you could go and actually adjust every single color in depth. But what I like to do is I like to just keep it simple and just go to the master and just slightly adjust this. Okay, so the last step in this whole Photoshop process is click on adjustments and then go to color balance. Right here, I'm just gonna mess with the midtones and I'm just going to adjust, same thing as, there's not really a formula to it, I'm just you know going left and right until there's a spot that I like. Okay, so once I have that, I just go and select these on and off to see if I like the changes that I made. I like those ones that one and I definitely like this one okay so now that you have these three adjustments changed what we're gonna do is go up to the top and hit file and then do export and then color lookup tables 
And then here I'm just gonna hit okay. And then now I'm just gonna title this beach run. Beach run. And then it's going to save to the same spot that you exported that frame. Now with Premiere open, I'm gonna go to import LUT, hit none, and then choose browse. I'm gonna go and select the folder that it's in. And I'm gonna click on beach run. It's gonna save as a cube file. I'm gonna hit open. And then there you have it. You have the actual uh, LUT that you just created in Photoshop that you transferred over to Premiere. Now, if we go ahead and go through the stages of what it looked like before. So the first step was the conversion to S-Log. The second step was basic adjustments. And then the third step was adding your own LUTs. So what you could do to make this super clean and have your timeline be less messy is make this into a nest. So just go ahead and highlight all the selected clips, right click on it, and then hit nest. Then hit okay. And then now you can see that it is just this one clip. And then if you want to make any more adjustments, just double click in there. And then you'll see the three adjustment layers on top again in this nested sequence.